good. <laughs> Alright, here we go guys. We made it. The G80 headquarters apparently. Unfortunately I couldn't bring my car out. My car is actually not with us right now. So I bought the 335 out. It's over there. Hold on. Hold on. Come on now. I gotta put some respect on the 335 name. Got the baby parked up. Look at that. So this is the owner or the shop's uh, G80 build going on. You can see it's picked up fresh, brand new, 100% stock. If you ask me, these M3s look really good at stock height, better than the M4s. In my opinion, the M4s look way too tall at stock height. Um, <laughs> but I may have to do that if I want to go to a big sticky tire in the back like uh, Mickey. Might have to raise it back up. We'll see how it works out. But I have my G82, these same wheels, but just all black. Uh, you can see this one has, it's a little dirty. I think it's silver underneath. No, it's like a gunmetal. Not sure this is Dravic Gray. I think it is. Probably one of the best BMW M colors right now. This thing looks super dope uh, without paying an arm and a leg for it. X Drive, they put the little stinking badge there. I wonder how many people are going to delete them. <laughs> Carbon buckets. I noticed something different about. Uh, certain carbon bucket colors you get some of them come with the suede and some of them are just full leather the red is full leather but the kamikami whatever this is orange comes with suede uh, carbon package with the interior which is dope i've never seen a g80 or g82 that's not spec with the carbon insides uh you know mine's open pour i took a shot at that and i really love it the screen is beautiful i thought i wasn't gonna like it until my guy joe invited me out to bmw greenwich to test drive the i4 m50 which is a phenomenal car by the way it really does add the bmw taste to the electric car lineup i'm, I'm not even lying to you i'll put a clip in right here go check that video it's super dope and uh, but i noticed the screen isn't as invasive as i thought it was you know i thought i was gonna hate it you know how upright it would be versus the hood over the g82 well my g82 and uh, I don't know, it really surprised me. The interface is a lot different. It gives Windows vibes, but uh, I'll say it's in a step in the right direction with the way the digital things are going. I love the way BMW colors, just, it's like two colors in one sometimes. Uh, carbon fiber package, you can see, have this uh, right here. If you guys made the mistake and didn't option it out, maybe you want it, a la carte Keys Motorsports. Laser headlights, I think this one has the laser headlights as well. They look aggressive. I love the little blue. Thing in there man Whew. laser lights definitely an option to get interesting enough this is a 2021 rear wheel drive model and I'll show you some records that he set for those uh, you know rear wheel drive non-believers These BMWs, you gotta think, man, the new technology with the traction control and everything like that, they these get out of the hole pretty quick if you equip them properly. Now, he has a whole bunch of suspension goodies under here, KW, V4s, whole nine, um, you know, but let's just take in the car. I'll let him talk about that later. Uh, some of the stuff visually, obviously, he got that carbon kit on here. Looks like a Keys carbon. We're gonna go with Keys carbon. These wheels are beautiful too. Any of these wheels that come from BMW now are very, very nice. It contrasts very perfect with the dark blue color. I think this is a Tanzanite. Like I said, sexy carbon ceramic brakes. If you look at the carbon ceramics, they have a sort of mirror finish on them. So you can see, you can see my hands really clearly. But they have individual little crackles in them, which will give you the impression that they're worn out. But they're not. That's how they come new. And these are very pricey, so beware. You know, what you're getting yourself into, but these puppies, boy, you can hit the brakes in these things all day and no brake dust. You know, uh, you can tell these steel brakes, for instance, this car is brand new 2023, and uh, check it out right here. So, you see who is here, right? <laughs> F80 slash CTSV man is here. No, the Metro card man. <laughs> the Metro card man. <laughs> Tell them why you got rid of the caddy. Why you get rid of the caddy, man? I don't know. Do anybody mark. have any clips of you beating them or no? But you are getting a, a, a G80, right? You can stay here first. Yeah, yeah, I can stay here first. <laughs> <laughs> I 
ain't gonna lie. If it was a race, the X5 would probably be winning going up. I don't know why. Just the X5 just feels. Got no motor. <laughs> the X5 like it's going up faster. <laughs> yeah, it is a close race. These are some fat ass tires right here, man. And this is exactly what I need. How long they last on you, the, the Mickeys? These? They last. Yeah? They last, man. Man, I'm not fast at yeah. <laughs> If you're doing 12 seconds, they last long. <laughs> <laughs> he said if you're doing 12 second pass, they last the life of the car. <laughs> this is stock. Man, yo, man, this car, you could tell, even the cats look brand new, bro. You didn't drive this thing at all, man. In today's video, we're diagnosing a no crank, no start. <laughs> He's trying to figure out. Y'all can stand. I can stand up in this thing. Look at this. I can stand up. Just stand up, man. A lot of people are wondering why is the motor apart with 110 miles. I was gonna say that. <laughs> you know what it is? You gotta make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight. You wanna make sure BMW tighten them, you know. I think me and AJ are just bored, you know? <laughs> just like, I'm, I'm just bored, I wanna, you know, have nothing better to do. <laughs> so wait, what's in this just? Rod piston, steering, valve springs. Okay. Hey, all your head starts. You just basically enhancing the vehicle. Yeah. You're not trying to reinvent anything. No, no. You're just trying to re re enhance it, yeah. strengthen the weak point, which is the rods, and just turn the boost up and see where we go. So, you guys actually had this car in the scale, too. Yeah. And it came in a lot lighter than, than a lot of people would think. It's crazy how it seems like when I was doing some 60 to 130 tests, when I did that 4, 486, 60 to 130, mm -hmm. that was your full interior. I was so excited. I literally drove home, parked it in my garage, took my passenger seat out, took my rear seats out, I went back out, I went actually slower. <laughs> and when I take out the passenger seat in the rear, that's... I'm saving about 90 pounds. So uh -huh. you would think, you know, 90 pounds, can I get a tenth out of it? Possibly. I actually went the tenth slower. So it's, you know, same conditions pretty much, but it's, you know, it, it took the weight, me. the weight doesn't do as much as we, as, as yeah, it used to. Yeah, as much as people think. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's just new technology, man, that, you know, the transmission, the, uh, you know, the gear ratio of these cars, it's just, it's, an, it's unstoppable. Technology is, it's amazing. And these are these are the uh, the stock turbos. For anybody that hasn't seen this, you know, OEM stock turbo, this is how they look like. And this this is my fist. Yeah, there and you go. The, look, the comparison. That's yeah. a huge difference. Yeah. And you want to know what's crazy? So these stock turbos do like 500 wheel with you know yeah. with mods and stuff. So yeah. imagine. Dang. So you know what you're doing for fueling, or that's, that's an AJ question too. Uh, high 800s. The pump was fine. Um, what are the limits? I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna figure <laughs> I, I don't know. There's a lot of unknowns now, but we will know in a couple of weeks. Um, you know, it, we, we, I don't want to change something that that's not maxed not out yet. Sure, yeah. You know, not necessarily like you know the guys are like oh yeah put the second secondary fuel pump in. Why? I mean, we're not running out of fuel yet. Mm -hmm. Once we get you know once I see 90% duty cycle, actually even over 80. 8085, then I'd be like, all right, fine, let's do something with the fueling. But until then, you know, that's the whole idea, just to find out the limits. Yeah. So six months from now, a year from now, you have a friend that's like, hey, I just want to be 850 horsepower. How do I get there? It's not going to be like, oh, yeah, you just need A, B, C, and D, and you're good. That's the whole idea why we're doing it. You know? If somebody wants to be at a thousand horsepower, yes, you need A, B, C, D, and F. You know. Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. That's that's you know. So I that's, get what you're saying. So yeah. okay, yeah. So if somebody feels comfortable with 800. You now you know what you need. There's no you overshooting. 600. You just need this and this. So that's what we're trying to find out what you need. See if you look at here, you see it's all black. Look at the dash, all black. But you got the seats and even the rear, all blacked out, right? Uh huh. Oh yeah, I yeah. see it. So now, if you look at, you want to take a video of this? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's the same. Yeah. You you don't get that two tone, and I was I totally when I ordered the car I totally forgot about that. But whatever. It is what it That's is. That's the only one regret I got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just that interior. But if you look at the rear wheel drive, now you notice 
two tone. Yeah. I yep. But like yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. yeah, one, one, you, you can either swap it out, but two, like, like I said, you'll live. Like, like it's not. Okay. Yeah, Never. it's not the biggest deal. No. It just, just looks nicer, but it is a little bit more fermenting. You know yeah. that. Yeah. And how, how the seats been, been holding up? Yeah, you know, the, the no farmer. issues, man. No issues. <laughs> They're very comfortable. Yeah. That's number one question. This has a pretty. Nice. This is dark Raider right here. Yeah. This is the shop car. So, this yeah. is the, the first M3 and it's a real E30 M3. E30 M3. So you got the first and the last. <laughs> yeah, the first and the last. Mar Mar <laughs> Mar Mar Marlon, you got gapped by the first one. <laughs> and this one ain't gonna do this one ain't gonna show no mercy behind oh, you, man. <laughs> It's it's over for you at this point. Oh, Damn, yo, the driving grade is beautiful. You you oh, get the gold. And if that's not enough, you can get. Yeah. Some <laughs> and if that's not enough, then you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> God. How do seats go back in this one? Ah, this is my first time I'm sitting in a legit E30 M3, and he got an OEM too. The factory long throw looking shifter radios aftermarket surprisingly though you got a lot of room in this thing these are not tight cars that mirror is tiny yo i'm gonna be so honest with you this is dope i'm gonna drive one of these one day yo this is nice you see some of the gauges light up. yo man i see why people pay a lot of money oh wait and this is not oem Kind of. It is? Oh. It looks OEM. Yeah, it does really look OEM. Yeah. I thought the whole time, like, yo. It's a, it's a, it's a Alpine edition. Gotcha. Basically. It's nice, though. You have a little bit of information right here. And there's digital stuff in the dash also. Oh, the temps. Yeah. Wow. Looks like the owner's in here, bro. Yo, but you know, honestly, you do have a lot of room. Like, it is, it is, a, it is. a roomy car. Heated seats, too? Windows. windows yo man glass on roof yeah <laughs> yo you got a lot of room in this thing man Ooh, that clearance is no joke Jeez. six percent in the front oh these are f80 wait one series, one series? man insane Beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Which one cost? Which one cost more? I think this was more valuable than a new one, no? <laughs> <sighs> so you guys seen it? I'm tired. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys have been watching this long, uh, consider subscribing, liking it. Different setup. I'm spent more time being a cameraman this time. I got to sit in the E30 M3 and got to experience and see some of the bits and components and I go into the fastest G82 coming near you. So uh, stay tuned. I'm not doing it to my car. Uh, my pockets ain't that deep, but uh, it feels good to be able to put on the channel and you can check out the guys S58 NYC. I gotta get the other information. I know it'll be down below. That's his Instagram. They starting this whole thing going on, and uh, we're gonna see what she brings. Definitely gonna add a bunch of uh, spice and back and forth in the uh, BMW racing community or the racing community in general. And I'm excited to see how it does. You got some really fast Audis out there, really fast American Muscle. Now we're gonna have some extremely fast BMWs. Now we already have some, I think. But, uh, Rick and Powerhouse. A lot of shops out there that's really killing the game. So. It'll be interesting to see how it's going to go. Um, but I'm going to get up out of here because I'm tired. And I got to literally, I don't think I'm going to sleep. Probably like 30 minutes of sleep and I got to get right back up. So Stay tuned. This thing is going to the moon.